been a couple of months since we dropped the best customs video and a lot has accumulated also some new new customizers into this game i always see that word noobs being dropped in a negative context uh-uh if you are new to this channel you guys and if you are stopping by here for the first time you guys need to see what this community is doing. We have Ricochet. We have one version. We have two versions. We have several different looks that you're just going to love. Mag decals right here. He brought the bat wing. Yeah. The sidekick. The man's bat. The Batman. However you want to put it. Man bat. It's not right, man. That's the villain. Batman is the good face. And Ricochet is nothing but gold. He did two different versions. He did this one, which what you're seeing is the actual entrance gear part vest from the waist up. And then he did one that where it was shirt. List. It was two different alternate versions of it. I'm not sure if he'd made two of them or if it was the same one with interchangeable torsos. I've seen people do that where they use like a magnetic piece to kind of detach and reattach a figure to interchange it, you know, with the looks. But hands down, one of my favorites right here. And I also want you to tell me. If you are right here watching this video at this present time, go in the comments. Let me know which custom in this video you enjoyed the best. First up as well, bringing the bright yellow, almost similar to what we saw with that recent Elite Series 69 Ali, except with Ricochet right here, we're getting it different. His was kick pads. We're getting boots on this one. The design, everything about the design is different, but it's a very bright accent color. And I think Ali was the figure chosen to make part of the actual lower half. And then I think from there, he just took his own touch to it. Next up, we have the OC, the original club from RKO 1974. And not just Gallows. Even though Gallows right here is standing out out of the three, he made all three of them. AJ Styles, I know he was also in the works with that. When he did the picture on this one, he only had the actual white look attire of that one. But all that put aside, you guys, these three, once you bring the whole fam together, two too sweet man i wish i could be right there right now they're dropping those fingers right on those three gentlemen right here aj styles j reigns customs i think this one might have gone live on his ebay page i know there's times where he makes something and he puts it up like it's not always commission work and i man what did i do j reigns did i sleep i sure was man i took an afternoon nap and that's why it's so important man to have notifications bells turned on for some of the best pages this right here j reigns being one of them man you need to follow him you need to turn on that notification bell you need to make sure that whatever post he puts up you don't miss a single beat stop ivy's custom figgies figgies is the right name oh, i love that that's one of my favorite parts about this page he stands behind the true meaning of what figgies should be he went in there he made custom versions of some of the coolest guys out there when it comes to the action figure game kurt hawkins and zach Ryder stomping paradise they brought it back they had it back in the old jack stays but now we have it in metal figure form and ivy's if you are watching this i want you to tell me dude what did you use for those little miniature handheld water guns? That's sick, man. That's so cool. I never got a chance to talk to you about that, but I am really, really loving this. Now, the NWF, he brought a little bit of halftime heat in this video. He brought it not only for halftime, but also with the Hulkster. Now, he did make a different version of this in the past, and I'll cover that in just a sec. The one that I want to show you guys out front right here, one of the best halftime heat shows. We've had several shows when it comes to halftime heat, but when it comes to the dream, the Velveteen dream, I want to know what attire are they going to make? Are they going to make the Chicago Bears as to what you're seeing right here? Because they are doing it for Seth Rollins. So I don't see why for Velveteen dream would be any different. Or are they going to make this one? Because this one he has made in the past, but it was long before Mattel had released a scan right here of Velveteen Dream. Now that he's got his hands on the actual Mattel version, dude, this is a notch up from what we saw in the past. And as far as this, Dean Ambrose is concerned, yes, before Moxley, there was an Ambrose and there was the NWF making an excellent version of what he had right before the departure. The black pants, that was the look. Now we got shorts. But you know what? That put aside the scan. You can utilize this word late wwe early aew every corner of the world will see that the nwf he is ruthless man like andrade that ringside exclusive as good as that one is looking this one dude 
Well, how <laughs> the hair sculpt on how he does all of his Andrades always stands out to me. Now, this next section of the video, this is going to get really, really creative because TSM Customs 1997, he brought a slight different version from what we saw from BEW Animation, the Lantern. The Lantern is standing out so so much in this figure. The scan two on this, it was a different version from what you're gonna see in the next customs for The Fiend, because The Fiend was being pumped out, man, left and right, and I wanna give a huge special shout out right here to New York Backyard Legend for going outside the box for this back piece, so I am very, very intrigued like where this is all gonna lead. When I did the filming on this, the only thing he had done completed was the back. He didn't give me a sneak peek up front. He showed me the face, but the back right here, if D and Fiend ever come together, this would be iconic if Balor was to do this right here for the back piece art. Now the retros, yeah, they're a thing too, man. For the custom game, you're going to see the retro figure. You're going to see a different, ver like the scan for BEW animation, I seen it in different forms and this one stood out just as much as the rest. This next one I'm going to show you, it's really awesome. Very cool and innovative the way that Mad Reaper had done the Fiend. Because Fiend, he's lost some weight, man. I mean, you look at Bray Wyatt now versus like half a year ago. It's a, it's a completely new man, not just like from his weight, but his actual character. I think he went with like a rhino style of upper torso, and then he utilized like, uh, someone drop it in the comment section. I know the, the whole formula on this, you guys, it was all done up from scratch and that goes the same for the lantern he made it glow in the dark really awesome fiend customs that you guys are putting out there really genuinely enjoying those as well as the young bucks right here as well by mad reaper he's always knocking it out the park when it comes to the original not the oc but i'm talking about the actual bullet club ew animation if you guys saw my action figure setup a couple days back you know that this one it has to come to the home at some point whether we put it on right here from scratch scratch from the WHF hands or we talk to one of these guys out there we need this one man now that we got that Dustin from the AEW match I want to recreate some of those epic moments and BEW he did so right here with this epic Cody Rhodes now AEW you can tell right now it is a main feature towards the end of this video Jericho Chris Jericho guys rocket jabroni he is always laying the smack down on all those jabronis look at this jacket man like this thing gen it literally has actual nails coming out of it love this and if you enjoy that well and he goes strong style on you he brought shinsuke nakamura with a re-sculpt version right here of the actual jacket i've seen people use fandango but how we're seeing it right here on the elite absolutely love it Great Kali, the Punjabi playboy. We need some Punjabi in your life. And Tim's Customs, he's like, yo, hold on, let me help you guys out. We need the best ultimate elite because we never got it in the elite. We got three, I think it was either two or three different versions of the Great Kali that Mattel released, but they were all basics. But seeing it right here, and this one sold quick, man. I hit him up within, I think, the hour that had, po that had been posted. And he's like, sorry, dude, it's already gone. And man, was I sad. I, my heart was literally broken, you guys. Big Red Machine. Kane, no, you are wrong, Hero Fix. It's not Big Red Machine, it's the Dead Man, the Undertaker, dressed as his own brother. Turbo Toys didn't wait. Ringside Collectibles might be putting out their version, but this one right here, made by Turbo Toys, oh, dude. If you ever get this, Turbo, send me side-by-side -side comparisons from this as to what Mattel actually released, because, man, this one is a true piece of art. Sizzlack 008, new customizer. We've never seen this gentleman right here on these videos, and that's the cool thing about this style, man. We always try to bring in new people into this. And guess what? This Bronson Reed is right there on the money. There was no back shots, none that I did find. But seeing the figure from the front, that is more than enough to show how the man truly reflects over there in NXT. Now, the villain, we've seen villain here at least three, maybe even four times on the channel. But this villain right here, pairing customs. Never heard of this guy until this one popped up in my feed. Someone had tagged me in it so you got to come check out this jacket this mask even on the back like how was this printed was this painted on was this decals bro if you for some reason if some for some strange reason you watch the cringe fest that hero figs puts on the channel please fill me in man i would love to know the formula of how you did the back piece right there on the jacket again drop it in the comments fill me in let me know which custom from this video you enjoyed the most so that way we can carry on through this because next month dude i've already seen some stuff 
stuff that has been prepped by some of these other people and you guys are going to genuinely love as to what's going to be here in the near future. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next one.